I've arranged these interviews um, because I love your product. It's it's simple, it's elegant, it works. Um, so I just I just want to talk to you a little bit about why share his image. What was the uh, the genesis of this, and why did you build it? It's kind of a it's kind of a funny thing. So um, share his image started out actually as a as a different app called Pin a Quote. I don't know if you remember that. That's probably about two years ago now. I do. I do remember it. Yeah, and it was. Uh, it, it's kind of a funny thing. I, I had a I had a day job I didn't particularly like, and uh, it was in the space sort of. But um, on my on my spare time, I was trying to find uh, things I could build that would offer value to. It, at the time, it wasn't specifically for business owners. It was for anyone wanting to get involved on Pinterest uh, who wanted to share one of those quote images instead of just like if they wanted to share text on Pinterest the only way to do that would be to convert it to an image format first sure so uh, I, I wasn't actually that this is when Pinterest was really kind of picking up steam and my my wife my girlfriend at the time was was really into Pinterest and I'm like so what where where people make I see all these quote images. Where where are people making them? How are they getting made? Do they have Photoshop? Do these do these does everybody have Photoshop? Does everyone are they, are they using paint? Like how are okay. they are they just sharing from other people who have are they just reshares essentially? Which a lot of them are. But I'm like, you know, it would be really cool if if you could find a quote out there on the web, highlight it in your browser, hit a button, and boom, you have text now in an image format. And that was really how it started. It was less of a business product at the beginning and more of like a consumer tool that anyone could pick up and use. I think it was, when we first put it out, it was free. It, it had no color options. It was black yeah. and white text and it was just like, here, now it's an image. Now you can share it on Pinterest. That evolved. Uh, people love people love the concept. Like it was amazing. I didn't really expect to get the feedback I got at the time. I um, put it together fairly cheaply it wasn't it wasn't expensive to build it was the, the technology's not wasn't particularly groundbreaking um, <laughs> it, yeah and, and it was just like people were like oh I wish I could add colors I wish I could customize fonts I yeah. want to add my logo all this sort of stuff and I actually um, eventually built a version of the tool uh, that could be integrated into a publisher's website so uh, I don't know if you've seen us on like BrainyQuote.com, which is one of the bigger quote websites out there. Uh, there's a button under e almost all the quotes now that is powered by Shares Image, so you can just click that button, and it will uh, it will convert the the quote in, into uh, into an image. BrainyQuote.com, you said. Yeah, so this is a they've been around since the I guess the, the late '90s. So this one's been been around a while. It's one of the bigger. I think it's the biggest quote database out there. So yeah, if you scroll down, um, let's see to one of the quotes a little bit further down the page, you should see like a little camera icon underneath. Uh, oh yes, yes. Yeah, if you click on that. That will uh, that will trigger the publisher version of Share's image, which right. will pull in that quote. Uh, it's got a Brady quote branding on it. And so this was this is like the publisher version, uh, which is different than the main Share's image tool, which is something that's like a browser extension or it's used by the end user instead of a publisher. But right. this was one of the steps along the evolution. And, and part of this this is kind of where the name Share's image came from, which was what's like an actionable name. Uh, that describes what you're actually doing, uh, and and also to move away from the, the name Pinnaquote because Pinnaquote uh, sort of restricted us to just Pinterest. Right. And so it's like, hey, you know, like actually the the, the guy who runs Brainyquote was like, hey, you totally shouldn't restrict yourself to Pinterest. This could work on any social network, and it'd be great. So like, yeah, that that's really true. So we yeah. kind of opened things up and. It was. It's kind of an interesting thing. Uh, I ended up getting a, a different job. I took a job at a startup here in Toronto, where I'm from, and kind of put Shara's image on autopilot for a while. And it kind of just sat there for probably the better part of a year. Hmm. Um, just kind of, I was just supporting it and not really adding to the product uh, until uh, one day um, it broke. <laughs> 
uh, a browser update had come out for I think it was Firefox and um, Share's image wasn't working properly in a lot of people's browsers so I had to go out and find a, a developer to help fix this bug um, and it, I ended up meeting uh, a guy named Oliver who's now my co-founder who said man this is such a great idea there's so many applications for this we probably haven't even looked at yet in terms of how a business could use it and some of the feedback I was getting uh, regarding using it as a social media marketing tool mm -hmm. and uh, he's like let's build this thing let's what do you say we partner up and build this thing all over again from scratch let's scrap the code let's rewrite the whole thing so I figured hey why not seemed like a really good guy seemed like a good partner to have so we partnered up in September of 2013 so just passed and uh, we rebuilt the current version of Share's image that you see, which is light years ahead of the old one. And oh, I'm sorry about that. What I love about it is I have a, a graphic arts background. You know, I used Photoshop and PageMaker, and I'm probably dating myself by even saying that, but Corel <laughs> Draw, you know, all these old school, you know, and they were t they're tough. I mean, they are you know, you got to put some effort into learning those tools. And when I found your tool, I do a lot of consulting work with people, but business owners who really want to engage in social media, but they feel intimidated by it. And totally. Totally. yeah, it's, it's so true. We're, I'm sorry. Hang on one second. I'm sorry, Heather. No problem. I better call you back. Sorry about that. Um, no worries. It, that's exactly it. I mean, we get this feedback all the time of people who say, wow, I, I'm horrified of Photoshop. I'm horrified of these other tools. They're so complicated. There's so many options. I don't even know where to begin. Uh, Share's image kind of cuts out all that clutter. Yeah. All that, uh, all that wonder about, should I be using this tool? Should, like, it's, it's, we, we, we've been very vigilant about keeping features out of the app. Um, when when users come and say, oh, I wish, the, can, can the text do this? Can you make it do that? And it's like there's lots of great ideas, but the more we add, the more we become a clunky photo editor. Right. So we walk a sort of a fine line of trying to keep the interface super, super simple uh, so that someone could pick it up without having to really learn anything. Well, I could tell you the response I get. I show your product in hundreds of sessions. Um, I do CEO trainings all across the country. I do, we have about 600 people in the university. Um, we have a live event that we're doing in the fall and people just go crazy because it's like, oh my God, it's so simple and it looks so <laughs> professional and they just go nuts. Um, wow, that's so yeah. great to hear. That, you know, I didn't even know, you know, it's when it, when you, it's amazing to hear that. That's fantastic. Well, it's just so elegant, and sometimes it, you know, the real genius is in the simplicity. And I think we try to over. We have enough complication in our lives as it is, right? And I think sometimes when you come across something that's so elegant and so easy and creates a really beautiful image, that you don't have to worry about the royalties or the licensing on the images, and you yep. can create something that's uniquely yours by adding a logo or whatever, you know. And it took you. Five seconds, ten seconds to do it. Um, yeah. <laughs> God, it's like thank you. Why can't my life be like that? <laughs> <laughs> That's so great to. It's so great to hear that too, because you know we, we do get that feedback uh, from users that we speak to, but hearing it from like from you saying that people are telling you that when you show it is just it's such great validation for us because you know there's times when there's sometimes you hit slow periods where it's like are people really getting the value we hope they're getting from it? Sometimes you right. don't really know, and it's it's really inspiring to hear that because that's that's what, you know, when we rebuilt the thing, that's kind of what we realized was, holy, this is something that businesses can really benefit from. Like, if you can create an image in, in under a minute, under two minutes, think of how much time you save if you're using it every day or if you're using it every couple of days over the course of a year. Right. Uh, let alone the learning curve time. Like sometimes it takes me a minute to load Photoshop just to get it open. <laughs> yeah, I know all about layers and you know pick, yeah. pick you know the pics and the fuzzies and the you know and and I think it's funny because we've got a couple of social media interns that work with me and getting them to stop using Photoshop has been a challenge because they get obsessed with making it perfect and. Right. Um, 
I, I'm not sure who said it. There's a great quote called done is better than perfect. And I think that I try to emphasize to all of my clients that, you know, it does not have to be perfect. There are tools out there that just get you to engage and engage quickly. And yes. the more you try to overcomplicate it, um, the less likely it's going to get done. Exactly. I'm sure you're familiar with the whole the whole micro content Gary Vaynerchuk stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's it's a great example. It's you know it's it's the, the the whole concept of micro content kind of share his image is right kind of at the center of that where it doesn't have to be a big fancy infographic or I mean there's a, there's a place for that. There's a right. there's a time and a place for that sure. But you know when you're just doing a post that's just a quick post that's going to have a little bit of a spark that's going to get sort of a a few minutes of attention in the in the short attention span that the world is today. Uh, why spend too much time? Why why spend so much time on that when that time can be better spent? When one of the buzzwords that's going around right now is a, a snackable moment, right? Uh, snacking yeah. your followers, giving them little treats that that's they can great. quickly pop in their mouth, <laughs> yeah. and it's delicious, and they move on to the yeah. next one, right? That's <laughs> it's just a snack. It's a snack. Yeah, it's a snack. It's not it's a meal. Perfect. It's not a buffet. It's a snack. I love it. That's that's it's perfect. And I think that you know I, I love I love that you know the elegance of this just makes it so accessible. So what are your plans for Shira's image? I realize you're sort of fighting the urge to add all this you know fancy um, you know add-ons, but where do you see your tool going and serving more and more business owners? It's a good it's a really good question, and that's really what we're kind of trying to crack right now is how we can accommodate the different types of business owners that are using the tool. So mm-hmm. we're discovering that we've got we've got your like micro, very small businesses using the tool, like life mm-hmm. coaches or um, uh, different uh, it, you know sole proprietors, social media consultants who are using the tool. Uh, and then we've got other like medium-sized businesses and startups that are using the tool. And then we've got like Intuit signed up recently, and, and they're mm-hmm. using the tool. So we've got these enterprise-level people too that are in the mix now. So we're trying to we're trying to find a way to accommodate everyone, and at the same time keep the tool as simple and easy to use as 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 it always is. So and and also then there's another piece of the puzzle which is we also have uh, social media consultants who are using the tool to post on behalf of their clients. So they have different needs. They want things like multiple logins. They want to be able to sign in as all of their clients. They, they might want to be able to easily share for one client, share for another client, upload their watermark, upload another client's watermark, and have them all kind of like there ready to use. So multi-watermark functionality comes up a lot. Like people want mm. to be able to upload many, many watermarks and not just one. And um, uh, we recently did a survey uh, with with all of our paid customers, and um, the photos are a really big thing. They really want more access to more royalty free uh, Creative Commons CC0 style images. So right now we have like a couple hundred images in there between the photos and patterns. Um, there is demand for a lot more. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, that brings up a question I wanted to run by you is. How do you, as a business owner, protect yourself? Um, uh, a, a company um, told me recently that they had used an image. Um, I'm sure you've seen that picture um, of the basset hound with his ears flopping behind him in the wind, sort of. Um, yeah. And they got busted. They actually got a cease and desist order from the company that has the rightful uh, usage claims on those images. So I guess I'm just wondering, you know, as a business owner, how can you use your image? Because I know you have a Chrome extension and I can use it on other images and things like that. What are your recommendations in regard to safe usage of images when I'm using a tool like yours? Yeah, it's, it's a good question. What we, we always recommend, if you're, if, you're, if you're finding your own images and you know, not, not using the images that we have in the app, the ones that we provide, um, it's always, you, you got to make sure that you do have the right permission to use the images. So for example, what, what we recommend is always try and find images that are licensed under this one very specific Creative Commons license called CC0. Okay. CC0 is um, 
the only Creative Commons license that requires no attribution, uh, and it allows you to basically do anything you want with the image. So um, here, actually, I could paste you. I see your chat up on here. Let me show you a link here. Um, well, I know about search.creativecommons. Can you use that for that kind of? Yes and no, because most of the stuff that's going to come up on the search is going to be stuff that's just a regular. I just pasted it into the chat. Oh. Uh, the stuff that you do on the search will probably fall under most of the the comment, like the standard Creative Commons. This one, the one right. that you uh, went to, okay. is a very, very specific type of a license. So huh. if you see here, this is the only one that requires, see it says, the person who associated with this work has dedicated the work to the public domain by waiving his or her rights to the work under worldwide copyright law. Essentially it says you can copy, modify, distribute, perform the work even for commercial purposes, all without asking permission and without, without any attribution required. So huh. this is a very special license that essentially gives you pretty much you can do pretty much whatever you want with these images. Um, it's kind of frat, like to to sell to resell them individually. Like if I was to take one of these images and try and sell it individually, it's kind of mm -hmm. frowned upon, I guess. Yeah. Um, but you can use it in brochures. You can use it in any of your marketing materials. You can use it in any type of uh, collateral that you're, or any assets that you're doing without any attribution. And this is the the safest type of image you can use if you don't want to get into any. Uh, legal trouble. So they make you go through a form fill here to kind of admonish them of obligation it looks like. Yeah, um, that's right. So and there's a number of websites. So we actually have a we have a, a separate service that we offer called Weekly Snaps, uh, which is a, a separate service from Share's Image where we curate uh, from all these different services out there. There's there's about yeah. 12 or 13 websites that we go to that that offer CC0 images. Um, yeah, I saw that right here. Weekly snaps. Is this it right here? Yeah, yeah. So the um, the sites. So for example, uh, there's a site called Unsplash.com. There's a site called Pixabay.com. Mm -hmm. These sites offer a huge variety of CC zero images. And our service here with Weekly Snaps is we're essentially a curation service. So we package up. We we pick our favorites from all the different CC zero websites. Package them up post them and send them to your inbox uh, every week um, as a service. We're not actually reselling the images themselves. Uh, right, but right. It's a curation service, but they all come from a pool of websites that uh, are totally safe to use for commercial purposes. So, um, nice. we, yeah, we, we kind of, uh, it's, it's kind of nice that uh, if you use CC0, you don't really have to worry too much uh, about using them in any of your marketing materials because it's all, it's all sort of copyright free at that point. And that's $99 a year? Yes. Okay, so it's very inexpensive, $10 a month, right? More yeah. or less? Yeah. More or less, yeah. Just... And then your, your share is image, why would I buy the upgrade versus using just the free tool? What's, what's the compelling difference there? So the, there's a there's a number of things uh, right now we have on the on the um, on the free version we currently have the shares image watermark on on all of the images right that you share uh, which actually is one of the the biggest reasons we see people upgrade is is that um, another reason is uh, access to getting getting access to a lot of the more premium photos and patterns that we curate that are also CC zero. Um, and you can also upload your own watermark or your own branding, which is pretty powerful when you're sharing some, you know, if you're sharing content uh, that you want to brand with your logo and have it linked mm -hmm. back to, to your blog or to your website. Another yeah. big thing is the um, HD images. So on the free version, you only get a sort of standard quality image download uh, in the end. I think it's like, it must be about 500 pixels wide at, at the most. Uh, with the pro version, you get full HD images, so big, high-quality images when you share or download your, your finished product. Nice. Yeah, I've, I've um, uploaded a bunch of different files and things over, over time, and just it's just so easy to use. So um, anything you'd like to share as we wrap up? Um, I try to keep these interviews, you know, so that people can actually listen to them in its entirety. Are, um, you, are yeah. you using um, – are you using – the Chrome extension? I, I, you know, I have not used that. I usually go to the app and just launch the app, but 
I use Chrome mm-hmm. exclusively, so the Chrome extension I think is a wonderful idea just to make it easy to, to use, um, assuming you're using royalty-free uh, <laughs> images, right? That's kind of yeah. the danger with that. Yeah, and you know what else? So the, the the Chrome extension, one of the big benefits, I guess, yeah, is the, is being able to right click an image and then you get it right in there. But you don't actually yeah. have to use it that way. If you if you just um, if you have the Chrome extension installed, you can you know you can be on any website you want and just hit the Chrome extension button and you're in the app. So it kind of saves another couple seconds there. Oh, so nice. yeah. You know, let's say you're on um, I don't know BBC.com or you're reading the news or you're on Google.com or wherever. Uh, you just hit that Chrome extension button, and uh, and the app Give is a open. whirl here. Yeah, so you'll see. You don't actually have to go all you know, saying sharesimage.com slash app. Just or, hit the hit the extension here. Yeah. And then it picks from a variety of images off that page. Is that no, the idea? No, it, no, it doesn't even. Um, it, the concept of the fact that you're on BBC.com or any website is is irrelevant. Just the the main the main benefit is that it's portable and it comes with you from website to website. Got it. So it's almost like let's say uh, you're on BBC.com and you're reading an article and you had a cool idea for a post uh, or a cool idea for an image, just in your mm-hmm. mind. Nothing mm-hmm. specific to the page itself, other than it sparked an idea. You can still stay on BBC.com. You can still stay on the page that you're on. Uh, click the extension and you've saved the time of having to open a new tab. Go to a new website. Go go to sharesimage.com. Mm-hmm. It all kind of happens right here. And then when you're done, you've never actually left the page you were on. So That's you can nice. continue your browsing experience um, uninterrupted. Yeah, or maybe you're just you know you're an Angelina and, and Brad Pitt fan, and you you want to somehow link to that and create an image that links to that. Um, yeah. You know, you could certainly not taking that image obviously, but just creating an image that links back to that article that makes it really easy to do it in the moment. Yeah, actually, to, to that point, try this. Yeah, click the X for a second. If you close the app, okay. Uh, just highlight the caption where it says uh, "Pitt and Jolie marriage announced." If it lets you. <laughs> or, or rather, there the, we go. Yeah, okay. So now, now hit the Chrome extension button. Ah, so okay. It'll pull that text right into the right in for you. So if you want to quote an article, or you want to, if you find an inspirational quote, let's say you're on one of these quote websites, other than Brainy Quote, of course, right? Uh, or, or it would work on Brainy Quote too. But let's say you're on one of these quote websites, and or you read an inspirational caption from somebody, you can just highlight it, hit the button, and the text is already copied right into the app for you. So you don't have to do any copy and paste or anything like that. And just give it attribution, right? You have to. Well, I guess you're here. You just select the whole thing, and you get instant attribution, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, yeah. I mean, it's sort of. Uh, I guess the onus is on the the sharer to make sure they're giving the right attribution. So, like, we, we we like to say, like, if you're gonna if you're gonna quote somebody, like, most quotes these days are sort of like public domain or whatever. But yeah, it's funny. Yeah. There are some quotes. I think I think there's some Albert Einstein quotes out there. <laughs> I think that are that do require you to attribute them to Albert Einstein. Wow. Uh, copyright law. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, it was Einstein. There's a few out there that, technically speaking, you're supposed to attribute whoever said the quote because there's yeah. actually some copyright behind it. Interesting. But well, most, quotes, yeah. most quotes are, are pretty fair game. Well, I think just some of the takeaways in regard to the Creative Commons um, attribute we talked about, just knowing sort of this new get a bunch of great little things in my inbox every week. I hope people will sign up for that because I think that's a fantastic tool. Um, and I just, I uh, really am a fan of your product. So, you know, I, I look forward to evangelizing for it in the future. Oh, that's so great. Thank you so much, Heather. If there's anything, uh, if anything we can do to help out and uh, make that process any easier for you, uh, by all means, anything we can do that's that we can help, if we can provide any material we put we put together some posts if you go to sharesimage.com slash um, stats mm-hmm. uh, we collected some interesting information on the sort of the power of image sharing oh nice okay uh, so there's some stuff here we, we gathered some of these from buffer from kiss metrics and um, there's some some good stats here about how much better images perform than plain text yeah uh, also if you go to our blog uh, blog.sharesimage.com. There's a, a really great post that uh, Noah Kagan from AppSumo helped us put together. 
Mm. Uh, if you scroll down a little bit more, there's a post called a little bit more. There's a post called the power. There it is. The power of images. We spent a long time compiling this post, uh, and it it has a lot of really great information about how images perform as opposed to mm -hmm. plain text when you're posting on social networks. So if this is any help at all in any of your yeah. seminars or workshops, anything you're doing, feel free to to reference this content if, if it's helpful at all and any other way we can help. Thank you so much for helping us spread the word. It really helps Absolutely. us. Out. <laughs> well, I, you know, if you have some kind of promo code that we could share with our, our students to help them, you know, jump in and use the, the tool, I'd certainly be open to that. If you have something you give me for like a 30-day trial on the pro account or something like that, um, maybe you, we, could, we could give people more access to give it a go. Yeah, well, we, we have now. We recently just introduced this. We, we, we've been playing with our pricing lately. Um, we have this seven day seven day money back guarantee thing going on right now, so it's it's not like a, a tr like a non credit card trial. You still have to put in your card, but if you want to cancel at any point within seven days, uh, we give a full refund. Uh, okay. And I can I'd be happy to give you a twenty five percent off promo code. Yeah, that'd be great. You know, anything that helps get them in and get them using it. The well, thanks again, Adam. I appreciate your time today. Yeah, thank you. This is it was great to chat with you, and, th and thanks for your continued support. We're going to keep making the product better and uh, more easy to use. Well, we'll look forward to that, and I will keep sharing your great image. So uh, have a wonderful rest of your day, and hopefully we'll talk soon. You too, Heather. Thanks so much. You bet. Bye-bye. Take care.